On 9th of March 2023, the Home Office published its Spring Statement of Changes in Immigration Rules. The statement contains important updates to employment requirements in work rules. So, this video is a small summary of all the changes which had been announced in the UK recently by the Home Office. So, if you want to be updated with all the changes and recent announcements, make sure to watch the video till the end. Hello guys, I'm Sorika and welcome to Your Knowledge Buddy. So, let's begin without any further delay. Update number one, salary thresholds for various UK visa categories is increased from 12th of April 2023. So if you guys are watching my video for some time, then you must already know that for almost all the visa categories, there's a minimum salary you should get to be eligible for UK's visa. And this is defined by the UK Home Office. So due to inflation, this minimum salary thresholds are increased. The visa categories included are skill worker visa, global business mobility visa, scale up visa, and seasonal worker rules. Example, the minimum annual salary for skill worker visa increased from £25,600 to £26,200. Another example from the scale of visa is the previous minimum salary was £33,000 but the new salary is £34,600. So you can pause the screen and check the old salary versus the new salary thresholds for all the visa categories. Now, in terms of hourly rate for the skilled worker visa, it increased from £10.10 to £10.75. And for seasonal visa, it increased from £10.10 to £10.42. Update number two, minimum weekly hours for seasonal workers in horticulture. Seasonal workers in horticulture must be employed for at least 32 hours per week. This brings them in line with the current minimum hours requirement for poultry workers. Update number three, changes to going rates from 12th of April. So what is going rate? It is a minimum salary range defined by the UK government, which you should get in order to get work visa. So each year UK government reviews this going rate and hence for this year, new going rates for individual occupations have been announced by the government already. Going rates will now be based on 37.5 hour working week rather than 39 hour working week. This is important consideration where employees are contracted for longer weekly working hours as proposed salaries will need to be prorated in order to calculate eligibility for sponsorship. Update number four, tourist visa. Working as a seafarer is being included in the list of permitted activities for visitors to the UK. Update number five, launch of electronic travel authorization from 15th of November, 2023. The electronic travel authorization ETA is a new requirement that will be applied through a gradual rollout starting from 15th of November, 2023 to individuals who currently do not need a visa before entering the UK for short trips. The cost of an ETA is yet to be announced, but the application fees are predicted to be in the range of 10 to 20 pounds. The processing time is estimated to be three working days unless further checks are required. Update number six, a new visa category is launched called the Innovator Founder Rule, which is starting from 13th of April, 2023. Now, it implements the government strategy for innovation published in July 2021, and this will replace the current innovator and startup routes. The new route is a revamped version of the innovator route, but with the added advantage of no requirement to have 50,000 pounds minimum funds to invest. There's also a relaxation of the restricted work requirement, which means that New applicants on this route have permission to work in skill routes at RQF level 3 outside of the running of their businesses. Now, there will be three new endorsing bodies for the route and among other things, they will need to assess whether an applicant is fit and proper person. Now, update number seven, global talent visa which is one of the best routes to settle in the UK as you don't require a sponsorship, but you only need an endorsing body to endorse your idea. So one of the endorsing bodies under digital technology applications was Tech Nation, closed on 31st of March, 2023, and they have not yet announced any replacement so far. So, but people who are already on this visa endorsed by Tech Nation, you will not be impacted. Update number eight. 
new jobs were added in the UK shortage occupation list. So we all know that the UK is facing a huge labor shortage in few industries and hence after a formal review of MAC which is the Migration Advisory Committee in the UK they decided to add five new job categories so that businesses can hire foreign workers. So they are number one bricklayers and masons, number two roofers, roof tilers and slaters, number three carpenters and joiners, number four construction and building trades which covers a variety of tasks in the construction alteration, maintenance, repair of buildings, steeples, industrial chimneys and number five plasterers. So that's all for today's video. If you have any questions or require any clarification, make sure to comment below. By the way, if you don't know what is the UK's work visa, cost, eligibility criteria, you can watch my full video here. Thanks for watching my video till the end and I'll see you guys soon with my next video. Till then, keep learning.